I, it's been four days. I don't even remember where I really left off. Oh my goodness. It was a good weekend to forget about all the craziness going on in our country. My friends from DDO, my guildies, who are like family to me, we've quested together for over a decade now. They kept me in good spirits, we laughed, we quested, and I am grateful for it. Also, shout out to Axiom, who earlier Twitch stream live on his account, which is Axiom Wolf, or you can follow him on YouTube. He's probably texting me now, Axiom Wolf 83. Uh, basically, I took a break from a lot of stuff except my writing because I truly, really needed a break from reality for a bit. And as much as I like Xbox streaming, it was hard for me to do this and not talk about everything that's been going on in the world. And I just didn't want to think about it for a bit. I am a mother. I am constantly worried about my son's safety. I have cried during these streams, which is hard for me as it is. I don't like crying in front of people. It's very frustrating for me. But I also realize that I do love doing this. I love gaming, and I need to just find that happy medium. So what I did was I had my fun on Saturday and Sunday with my D&D group, and now I'm going to have a bit of fun playing a bit more Dragon's Age. I'm hoping I can end this with the dragon battle that I've been setting up for. I have to go to the war table, make sure I did all the research and stuff I need to get done for that. It's a lot of convoluted crap that I didn't remember because it's been years since I played this game. But I'm still going to uh, do my best to have fun and enjoy everything that's going on. Um, ah, that freaking bug where you get the special shipments. That is so annoying. I do not understand why this still persists but I guess it's just a minor inconvenience you just click on it and it's gone for now <laughs> Dagna's always messing with homeboy cracks me up I love the forge if I could spend like 99% of my time in the forge I would I like crafting armor. I like crafting weapons. Oh, it's my friend. Um, my friend is doing a writer class today, and she's a bit nervous, so I'm encouraging her because I think she's amazing. And I really hope that she understands that, as a writer too, we're anxiety prone. We don't like exposing ourselves, but yet we do stuff that technically exposes ourselves. When we write, we give pieces of ourselves. I had a great conversation about that earlier today with my editor and friend, longtime friend at that. It's just hard. And when you decide that you want to go and hone your craft and you go into these classes, you feel exposed. So... I honestly don't blame her for anxiety, but I also know she's an amazing person and an amazing writer. So we need to just tell her to do her best and go from there. I love being a part of an artist community. I love being friends with fellow writers. But we really are like some of the most messed up in the head people and I, I i don't say it to say we're bad people we are just our own worst enemies to how decent we can be with our talents we legit don't want to think on that hmm. i'm gonna send liliana She has the best time and i tend to go by who has the best time unless i know it's something that is going to be terrible. I think we did everything we needed to do for Frederick's thing. So I am going right. to just sign my money maker. 
I think I'm gonna have fun and have Josephine Inquisitor. handle this. <coughs> and then we're gonna make our way back towards the western approach and try to lure a dragon. I'm also going to try to stream tomorrow Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds. That is definitely going to take some um, getting used to. Because it's been a while since I did it. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it this time. Because in my main game, I also found out that... Um, you can legit go into the Steel Ruins and not trigger that weird end battle with the Venatory. So, I did my homework. I'm up on it. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I think I'm going to take... I'll take Cole. What I was saying was I want to do it where it's fun. Whereas in my main play that I hope to import in the DA4, which they're talking about creating for the PS5, which I really hope that they're just starting it for the PS5, but they make it where older consoles or at least the Xbox consoles have access to it because I don't want to have to buy a whole new console. To play this game. I've been waiting 7, 8 years like everybody else. Probably got another 2 years before they even get it out. I really don't want to have to buy a PS5 to play it. But knowing me, because I've loved Inquisition so much, I might be dumb enough to buy one. I hate this. I wish gaming companies wouldn't do stuff like this, but it's out of my hands. Hopefully, they'll make a multi-platform and I'm just worrying for nothing, but who knows. Either way, um... We're going to just do our best to have fun with Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds. Because I already got it the way I want it for um, my main game. Which is, I have Celine and Briala working together. And it was a lot of twists and turns to reunite them and have Celine be Empress. But who knows? I might just have her die and have Gaspard take the throne. I might have Briala run in the show. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel tomorrow and what my mood is. Because unlike my main game, which I played a few years back, and then I replayed to get it the way I want it, this is just anything goes. I'm just having fun in the world of Thetis. And I don't want to take things as serious as I did back in the day. You know, the only thing I do take serious right now, besides killing Venditori bastards, is the whole idea of um, crafting. Because I didn't craft the way I wanted to back in the day. I loved it, but I didn't take the time to learn. Everybody's texting me at once. All my friends are texting me. But, um... <laughs> I didn't take the time to truly learn. Ooh, Venatory Orders. I didn't take the time to learn how things work. I just crafted stuff that looked nice. I didn't care about function. And I could have done way better. Now that I know how certain metals work, what goes together, what's better for different classes and builds, I am totally going to have fun with this. Do not return empty-handed. You know you've got dicks for bosses when they threaten you. Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. Slowing time. It wasn't. Required great power. It may be what drew them here. Time-altering magic. Let's hope this proves less trying than Redcliffe. Yeah, Redcliffe was a bitch. But we're not here for that yet. We will be coming back to this. What we are here for is a secret room. Well, not really secret, just a locked room. You have to have deaf hands, deaf tools, which is why I worked so hard or earlier to get that unlocked on my Inquisition perks. Even though for me, there are way better Inquisition perks that I prefer, this one gets you into stuff a lot better. And I learned the hard way how many things I had to wait on 
because I was being stubborn about it. So I stopped being stubborn. Alright, is it, isn't it in this locker room here? Oh, maybe I do have to go outside and trigger that fight. That's annoying. I read that you didn't have to, but I'm not seeing any other writing here and it looks like we have to go outside to the actual room above. Ah, that sucks. It said it was behind a locked door, but the only other locked door area I know is... I don't think there's an upstairs for here. It's outside. And outside triggers a battle with some of the Venatory types. So, yeah. That's gonna suck. I don't think I have to actually do this inside part after I fight the Venatory. And maybe I can get around them without triggering that whole thing, but who knows. If not, que sera. Like I said, this is not my first run through here. And it's not a run that I'm going to be crediting towards my main account. So I'm not too worried. Okay, freed our slaves mosaic piece. More loot to sell or use for crafting. What is this? Ooh, I like that. That was nice. Responsible blood magic. Next. All right, uh, that was some really good crafting material. I am a total geek when it comes to crafting stuff. So I love getting tier two, tier three materials because it means I can make better stuff. You can see it is a whole room full of frozen demons. And I think it can be bypassed. I think there's anything down there if you jump down there. I really don't want to personally jump down there. Especially if you can't get back up. Is this the thing that was pinging? I really think I have to go outside and into one of those side rooms. But I could be wrong. We'll see. The text describe a chamber. This must be it. Okay, there we go. Research notes. Little veil fire. Heck am I examining? It gave me a thing to examine. Okay, that was a manuscript. No, I had a little examine thing flash up. I love Axiom Wolf is in the chat, y'all. I am really trying to get better with paying attention to the chat. But I'm still not good at that. Alright, we are going to bypass, well, if we can bypass these fights. Nope, it's not letting me click. So we are going to try to sneak around. Because I definitely do not want to start that whole venatory battle. I don't like that they put these quests like right in each other because what if you wanted to just do the dragon hunt without forwarding the main part of this quest out here. It's the same way I got panicked when we were around the adamant fortress and I was worried about you know triggering that because there's so many major quests mixed in this area with the side quest. I still have to get a keep too. I might do that today as well because I like having keeps. 
I'm telling you, in the old days, I would have had all kinds of keeps of forts. Don't believe me, ask Axiom. <laughs> I do get pulled into the story because it's a good story. That I think if you're not playing a game where you don't get pulled into the story, why are you playing it? I mean, I know there are some people that are like, I like shooters. Well, I like shooters with a story, too. That's why when Axie and I was playing the Halo collection, which we got to get back to that, love. I was enjoying the story aspects as well as shooting people in the face. I just got to work on not shooting him, which I honestly do not do it on purpose. I just panic when creatures of death come rushing at me. <laughs> I is not lies. I do not shoot him on purpose. You know, he knows I love him. He knows I would cut a bitch for him. Come on. All right, we are going to do this the easy way and teleport to the camp and go right to where we can advance this quest. As much fun as it is to run around, I get very distracted by crafting materials. It is like, ooh, piece of candy. So I want to get as straight away to this dragon mission as possible hopefully i won't have to do this dragon fight the way i used to do it back before i knew how to craft armor After and weapons 30 days i have yet to observe the abyssal high dragon in oh yes can i this dude literally has full-on conversations with himself it is funny because I, I do that too dragons in an ancient Vinta laboratory will it help you what remarkable <laughs> diagrams are these chambers of the draconic heart? Oh, if only I could read the script. Do you perhaps know a language? <sighs> these are Legion people get my nerves. I don't, but the Inquisition might. I'll speak to our specialists. Really? Ah. Uh, seriously. I did all that, and then I still have to do a war table because I was dumb and I did the war table first. So what we're going to do so I don't feel completely uh, useless is get my keep. I'm pissed. I need to go murder some Venatory now. It's like, ah. Uh, I knew I was missing a step. I couldn't figure out which step. Piece of candy. But I'm definitely going to get my keep and then I will worry because I've got all my advisors on quest already. So there's no way if I go back to Skyhold that I can just get this started. I have to get the call that whoever is on their uh, things will, are back. So I have to wait for Cullen or... Uh, Lilian is going to be out of commission for a bit. That guy just came out and stabbed that wolf in the back. What is going on in this area? Did that guy just really knocked me down. Oh, heck no. I might not like Solus, but you're not gonna do that, dog. You're not gonna attack him from behind. Fuck out of here. Let's get all these mud out the way. They're all blighted and crap. Alright. So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted blood all over my pretty armor I am going to go get my fortress so that I feel like I got something major done during this run I was gonna try to do both anyway but I hope to get the dragon fight done while I was all hyped up for it oh, I hate these disappearing guys they're gonna show up behind me and try to knock me down again and go Oh, nice fry nice freeze. Sweet. It's 
why having the frost mage rocks, even if it's not me this time. Solus as a frost mage helps a lot. These guys aren't um, hostile, and they will f you up if you start a fight with them. They are not easy. I, who attacked him? You're fighting him on your own. Holy crap! Oh, that was Solus's ice. Um, ice mine. I am so glad he didn't trigger that big thing. I fought one of them once, and it was brutal. Those things just keep charging and running into you, and they soak a lot of damage. Oh. So I really don't want to start a fight with that big thing. <laughs> he stepped on that ice mine, and my heart literally skipped. <laughs> I am like Pringles that way, dear. But yeah, I uh, don't want to pick a fight with certain docile creatures because they are big, they are bad, and they are mean. Are these venatory? I think they're venatory. I think they're going to die. Come on. I hit the wrong thing. I love my spirit blade, but it's not ranged. Not for when they get close. I honestly do not regret Speck and Solus a Frost Mage because my main character, Kahira, when I play her, is a Frost Mage. And it is amazing. I love immobilizing stuff. And I mean, you can immobilize things. Caravan and refugees. Yikes. Oh, I hate slavers. I hope I get to kill them too. That was just that book pinging in again. But, um... I know you can immobilize them with lightning too, which is why I went lightning spec as well. But currently, I'm carrying a frost staff on me because we were supposed to fight that abyssal high dragon. And you don't always get what you want because you do things half-assed and don't read or research what you're doing. What the hell is that? Is that a our camp? Yeah. What the <laughs> We're gonna do a quick rest since my uh, crew don't believe in healing themselves. The supplies are replenished and now we are gonna go take a fort. I also did the war table mission to clear that weird crazy creepy funky fog. That was keeping us out of some areas. You see it off in the distance. But as we get close, it should clear off. We should also run into not just these blighted beasts, which are easy to avoid. They're just looking to hunt. But we should be running into some dark spawn soon, which... You know, if you haven't played the Dragon's Era series, you're probably like, what is she want going on about? What the heck's a dark spawn? It's basically like this version of The Walking Dead. It, there's, like, really diseased, sickly zombies. And they only live to ravage the land and turn you into a dark spawn or turn you into food. It's kind of like the creatures from the story that I wrote about. Now, Venatori, feel my blade. I'm gonna kill you and your leader. Because like I said, we will start seeing Darkspawn because this area of the game, historically, was where one of the first blights hit Thetis. I am huge in the law of this lore of this game. So, I've always loved the fact that they put this in Dragon's Age in position. Shall we know? All right. Gladly. Yeah, me and Cassandra are gonna kick some butt. Really? No, I don't want to use that ability. Do I need a fireball? Knock knock. Boom. That's how you do it. Oh, gotta get the door splinters. 
I found out that you can use those towards certain crafting, but also that they disappear if you don't pick them up. I also see a lot of stuff pinging, but Sentinel I will come back once the... Nearby. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Solus. Uh... I will pick up all the treasures and stuff once we take the keep, because then it's mine and I can pick up the treasures at my leisure. <coughs> we have got to fight waves of doofuses and the lead doofus. See, my brain goes right to looting. I need to stop doing that. I thought there was enemies this way. Where is the ladder down? I think I see where I made the wrong turn. At Albuquerque. And yes, the joke is relevant because this is like a New Mexico style setting. Here we go. I see the red dots. The only person that needs to be prepared is you for, to feel my blade in your face. to get ya. Free Cassandra's on the roll. She wants blood. In life and in death. Shut up. Oh, I hate when they narrate themselves. I hate when they talk a lot too. Blah blah bad guy. Eat my sword. I do hit a bit hard, but I am playing on a harder difficulty now, since I kind of know what I'm doing. Avoid that fire mine, which they conveniently make bright as heck, so you can avoid it. Archers hit like a bitch. I think that's eventually going to be one of my next playthroughs is I have my rogue Nixie. I think she is going to play as an archer. I think I can custom build her a bow. Did he jump down? They just climbed up. Son of a bitch, I hate when that happens. Alright, time to heal up everybody before we go fight the main turd. I don't think there's anybody else up here. So we're gonna climb down and head up the stairs. What the heck? Loot. Alright. Here, Inquisitor! I am ready to serve! I hope you're ready to die! these people talk too much and I am going to deliver them to their death so easy but yeah I have the mark your bitch ass Corinthians want it that arrow whistle that is so cool even though they're using it against me All right. We should bring in our ne forces to occupy the castle. No shit, Cassandra. I really cannot stand the whole Captain Obvious mentality that my uh, crew has at times. This is our fort now, bitches. Kitty color, yes. Anybody who doesn't know, this was a fan-made accessory that they did a contest for and there's a good back history with the kitty collar um it's worth changing out the superb amulet of constitution to especially when you're playing um the knight commander role as i'm playing the kitty collar just works in perfect conjunction with your build 
And the lady who wrote the story wrote about this girl in Lothering who was a mage and her grandfather was a mage and just not a good man. And he had a demon trapped in his basement inside a cat. And in Dragon's Age Origins, you have the option of saving the girl from this demon or letting her be possessed. And I always save the girl, obviously. You don't want to leave a child in possession of a demon. But the cat drops this collar. And the collar gives you... And I'll... Uh, link it once I'm done showing the scene of getting my keep uh, it gives you these uh, great boosts when you fall and towards damage taken so it's pretty awesome ah cutscenes you're early we've barely been set up a week I have a what the heck are you talking about I never left here I have reports that yeah, yeah. bandits have taken up squatting in the fortress the wardens abandoned. We're reasonably well in the here, but the keep's water supply has been... He's going to give me a whole laundry list of stuff. ...causing delays. I'll prepare the troops for inspection at once. Wow. <laughs> he just gave me a whole laundry list of crap. Bandits moved in. Worse than quillbacks, if you ask me. They're holed up in there using it as a base to strike at our supply caravans. Blasted scavengers. We yeah. haven't met, have we? What's your name, soldier? Where have you served? I beg your pardon, Inquisitor. Knight Captain Rylan at your service. I served with the Templars in Starkhaven until they all ran off to the hills, barking at the moon. Commander Cullen offered me a job, and I was glad to do anything to help stop all this. So he's Cullen's best friend. Nice. What's wrong with the water supply? I remember this vaguely. It's been years, so. Corpses in there. There's an oasis nearby, but a Vargas claimed it. Doing a decent job of keeping us away too. We'll take care of the Vargas. Venom and claws. We'll need reinforcements to drive the monster out. Tell me about the dark spawn. The Darkspawn seem to have emerged since we took the keep. I've warned the troops not to engage unless absolutely necessary. We don't need a blight in the ranks. We have to find whatever That's hole true. the monsters came from. He's still talking. Ah, uh, I better do What's this. The situation in the Western approach? I've had scouts investigate that Red Lyrium operation you smashed. I don't think anyone's getting into that cave anytime soon. Carry All on, right. Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. So now I get to collect all the loot that I didn't collect before. But uh, I was going on about the kitty collar. And the examination is you get a guardian spirit. It blocks melee attack every 30 seconds. On dying, which happens. I'm playing a hard difficulty too. You have a chance to heal for half help. And you resist a lethal strike every 60 seconds. So to me, that is a way better amulet than even the superb amulet of constitution. Which I will be putting probably on Cassandra anyway. If I... I don't remember what I had on her exactly. I'm gonna have to look. As you see, you can equip potions. You can read um, different lore. Afraid. Good. <laughs> Cole cracks me up. I don't care who you are. Uh, he just makes me laugh. Um. Inquisitor. No. I already talked to you. You gave me a whole bunch of crap to do. There is an astrium up here. I want to see what puzzle it is. Alright. I think I can do this one. Give me a moment though, y'all. Okay, I seen the... Unfortunately for me... The game... Will sometimes block. Or obstruct my view. I messed up, darn it. 
I should have went the other way, okay. So I couldn't see how to uh, start this at first. some reason the twitch thing seriously did I do that again I did the heck tin from the middle like that again. The thing is, it's such a simplistic design, but I feel like I'm messing it up, and I am. Okay. <laughs> Bad, sick, or good luck. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dear, but... Uh, hopefully people don't follow me in any of those capacities. I am not a good luck charm. Do not let Axiom fool you. Well, if I do it like that, that's not going to work. Crap, I hit the wrong thing. And try this one more time. <laughs> See, the problem is they sometimes throw other stars into the mix to throw you off. So you can end up Looks like a piece of cheese. hate when I'm close to unlocking something and I realize it way after the fact. Tough. 
That's one of the old invented gods, the dragon of fire. One of the gods that can become an archdemon, which would be very problematic, which I'm wondering if they're going to put in Dragon's Age 4. I'm just excited now that we're actually getting Dragon's Age 4. Would you know before? stay willing, we'll never know. I love how they just talk like nothing's going on. But um at least we get we're getting more talk on the game, which gives me hope that we'll actually get a Dragon's Age 4 because it was starting to feel like we weren't going to get one. Nope, don't want to hear it. You gave me a laundry list of things to do. We'll talk later. Those are just the ladders. I don't know why they ping like that. Surprise, sir? Not good enough. Surprise and fear, sir? Oh, they must be asking them a question. <laughs> wow. I guess we got the marine version of our Inquisition out here. Wow, you will be picking bootstraps out of your teeth. It, do we really need to threaten our troops like this, people? I mean, I'm just saying. These people are risking themselves just to help us out. And you're talking about kicking them so hard that they'll be picking your bootstraps out of their teeth. What the heck? But I gotta keep, y'all. I love stuff like this. And it is one of many. We'll be getting many keeps. I just, I think every other area we have, we get some kind of keep a fort that we have to take over. And I'm here for it. I love stuff like this. And like, um, like Skyhold, which when I go back, which I'm gonna go back because I really, really want to fight that dragon eventually. You'll see that every time we leave and make goals out here, Skyhold gets renovated. So, this place is being fixed up currently, but every time I return, especially after getting something done out here in the Western Approach, I will actually, see, well, we'll all actually see improvements to this area. Um... Let's activate this while Solus is in the group. Strengthen the veil. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Baldi. He irks me so bad. I, I hate that I get so aggravated by him. I also hate those treasure chests that aren't actually treasure chests. You only get a slight approval for doing this. So I was like, why the heck am I doing this? Wow. Cassius is already whining about having to do his job. It's ridiculous. Sick and I feel bad for him. He's sick or dude. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird, these bad guys. They are literally calling themselves supremacists, which is never a good thing. I, I, I've never ran into an actual good supremacist, I'm just saying. I don't care if that upsets somebody. Because you're basically saying that you're better than other people and that nobody can compare to you. And, you know, outside that Sinead O'Connor song, I don't like people with that attitude. That should be something other people say about you. The moment you start saying it about yourself, you start saying other bad things that really set off red flags so these mage supremacists as they call themselves they don't care if people are killed they don't care if people are enslaved or die to their cause they just want to be all powerful and people like that get on my nerves because i love playing a mage they didn't understand but they obeyed because their god told them to yeah that's how a lot of people are sadly they think they need to die for this weird ass cause that will make Corypheus a god and blah 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 I don't think so 
<laughs> it don't matter who you are. People are always going to complain about the cost of stuff. I want to go up. Because I know there was a treasure chest that I left behind. I hope you don't lose that because you took the keep. Nope, you don't. Like I said, I like looting because there's a good chance. Not for name stuff so much. The name loot is useless to me now that I craft. But there is a good uh, amount of crafting material that you can get from these chests. If you're lucky, if it rolls in your favor. Or you can get gold. And with gold, I can buy more crafting material from my good friend the antiquarium at the black emporium so it is all good let's see i think there was one more treasure chest but i am going to deal with that later let me see what else i have to do out here heart of the still ruins i don't need that just yet sable and the magic that's not gonna happen Okay, so all the still ruins. So we are going to go back to Skyhold really quick. Hopefully Cullen is back. <coughs> Whew. And I can send him to do whatever to Vinter nonsense I need to get the dragon fight. Because that was what I was amped up for. I also had a dud of a day in DDO. I ran that earlier to try to get that blood of Imperial... Uh, Imperial Globe of Blood from the Heroic Tour Raid. Well, not raid. It's pre-raid for the actual raid. And the Black Dragon Chest on Heroic Elite is the only place that drops it. So I've gotten it down to a science of about 16 minutes. And I ran it four times. It ransacks you and you have to wait 18 hours if you go over ransack for anything good to drop from the chest. So I did four runs and got nothing but black dragon helms for my luck. So maybe tomorrow it'll be better. I mean, I could run it with several of my higher level characters, but it's just quicker on my ranger with Fury Shot. So, she's the one that's gonna, um... No one interesting, though? Yeah, they start talking rumors about you once you pick somebody to date, too, which is hilarious. People don't know how to mind their business. Kind of like real life. But, um, I'm going to try to get this dragon fight started. I don't know how long it takes. It depends on how long it takes on this. If it's too long, oh, I got a point. Then I am going to instead work on, um, historical knowledge. But there was something else I wanted. The short list. Because it gets you different things that you can buy crafting-wise. So I'm trying to be smart about this since this is going to be a crafting game. Okay, I know Liliana is not going to be back. But how much longer does Colin have? No, now your heart shall burn. Gather coin. Six minutes. Alright, uh... And that has three minutes, so it's not that long. I could actually send Josephine to do that, whatever it is that Frederick needs. Let me, while I'm here, before I go dawdle, because I don't like standing around in one place for too long. That's improving morale with all that glitters. Oh, Colin will do all that. We need to translate the dragon text. Oh, I can do that with connections. I didn't have to wait. Yay! 
Venture forth. I'm gonna get my dragon fight. Okay, we need Cassandra and Solus because he's my frost mage and Iron Bull. As much as I want to take Sarah, there are plenty of other dragon fights. We've got at least, I think, four or five more in different areas, so she'll get more of dragon fights. Maybe even six more. I'm also going to either do either in Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds tomorrow, or I'm going to start the Jaws of Hack on DLC because I really want that um, Veil Quartz so that I can make my best in slot electric staff. <laughs> it just depends on my mood tomorrow after I get a bunch of stuff done. I have house cleaning that I definitely have to get done. I want to focus on the basic animation course that I'm starting up. And then Thursday, I know I have a editor and writers meeting with my friend to get Axiom published. So it's going to be a busy week. What do you mean? How can you? How can I help you? I'm doing all this for your stupid uh, My people have dragon hunt. Of into manuscripts. <gasps> Studies on dragon hunting patterns, migrations. <laughs> Durant's theory that dragons can't see the color blue is refuted. With those dreadful raiders out of the way, we can finally lure out the abyssal high dragon. <laughs> you should have the honor, my friend. I've made of, note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait and then wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in draconology. I'm off to plant the bait for the high dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. I'm going to be busy well, fighting this time. thing. You want me to take notes? What? <sighs> this is why I roll my eyes so much at parts of this game. It's just like illogical. Take note of how the dragon flies. This is trying to eat you. Bitch, please. <laughs> I just don't I don't understand that. I know that peop there are people that passionate. I have a feeling this is going to be my son with dangerous predators um in the sea cuz he really wants to be, you know, like the next Jacques Cousteau. And he would be the type to be like, "No, get close to the shark. Think of how it swims." You have to uh tell me how its teeth feels around your leg or neck. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, it knows I love my baby, and I really indulge a lot of his uh, eccentricness when it comes to his passions. And speaking of which, I can hear him in the background. It's almost like he heard me talking about him. So I have a feeling that he's gonna come into the room while I'm uh, doing this dragon battle. But it is funny how these researchers, they, they just, they hyper focus on stuff they care about to the point where nothing else matters. All right, y'all, we are gonna, let's see. Yep, it replenished. We are gonna get ready to fight a dragon. She'll be here soon. Prepare yourself. Yeah. You prepare yourself, I liar. You're the best. Yeah, I know I'm the best, Iron Bull. I know you love me too, all the time. <laughs> Here, dragon, dragon, dragon. An impressive creature. There is a purity in such undiluted power. If you say so, where is it? They're playing the me. Oh, there it goes. Woo, big girl. I am going to enjoy this. The first time I battled this dragon, I was so unprepared. Even though we had the spells for it, it is not an easy battle. And we're doing this on a tougher difficulty. So, alright, let's do some tactics. Because that would be smart. Part B, we're going to do rally. 
It'll boost up Iron Bowl stuff. And he'll do Ring of Pain. Ooh, that stun attack. Also, since Cassandra's my tank, I want to keep her shield up. We have to be careful because the dragon will start doing that one attack where he pulls you in. And it has stone skin, I remember that. But it takes a lot of damage from Ice Bell. Oh, here we go. Jump! Get a shield on the warriors. Ooh, crap. He lit me up. But that kitty collar, I'm telling you. It is amazing. I am so glad I picked it up first. So things happen for a reason. I messed up. But it all, it's all good. Alright, it threw up stone skin again. Changing the ass dragon. And it's more than likely going to do that wing buffet attack soon. You know this dragon's badass because even the phoenixes are like, I'm out. No part of this. Stun attack. So far, I'm the only one that took a ton of damage besides Solus. Tanks are surprisingly holding up this time. I spoke too soon. Alright, tactics phase again. I want to throw a barrier on... Oh, I can't throw a barrier on my fighter. Uh-oh. Crap. That's... Crap, bro. You know what, dragon? Eat an ice pulp. Alright. Sorry about the scattered button, y'all take a, about a week break from Xbox gaming and I'm still playing like I'm on the PC. Acting like I don't know what these controllers do. Something's hitting him that is immune to. And I don't know what because I purposely made... Oh, I can just knock me over purposely made Iron Bull's weapons frost and Cassandra's weapons frost. Oh, crap. Alright, Solus. Drink a potion. I might not like you, but I don't want you to die. For those watching who are like, why don't you like him? He knows why. Alright. Oh. We have our first fatality. We gotta raise him. There we go. Full raise. You'll be alright, Iron Bull. Ah, I meant to hit a bolt. Uh oh, who's about to do that wing thing? Sandra knocked it down. You go, girl. Like I said, this dragon is so tough that even the phoenixes are not trying to start with us. They don't want no parts of this. Uh, up its last stone skin. Ah, crap. Ah, what 
the ways. Ready. <laughs> Why is that dragon bucked out? No, you die. Die, die, die. I did not do all that work for this creature to bug out. I am going to be so pissed. You have no hit points left. What is this? Okay, nobody else really has healing. Except he has the regen pot. I really hope this didn't bug out to the point where I have to redo this game. That will really upset me. I did not do anything to glitch it. They are! <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, dragon. Seriously, if this bugged out, I am going to be so upset. I'm going to put this on just in case. Longest death scene ever. I can't believe this. By the way, you suck. It's saying immune. I literally think this dragon's broke. And I fought it the right way. I didn't hide. We just took it out with magic. And it is bugged out. That sucks, y'all. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna try to walk away and see if that actually kills the beast or resets the beast, sadly. Which means I have to reset our potions because I literally ran out of potions doing this stupid fight. So yeah, we're gonna have to redo that fight. Oh my gosh, y'all. So frustrated. Okay. I wanted a dragon fight. I wasn't expecting to get two for one. But luckily, our camp is right here. We can do a quick rest. It'll reset most of the potions except for my uh, regen pots. I have to manually reset those for some reason. So what I'm going to do is do a quick rest. And <laughs> redo this dragon fight and try not to cry about it. Good gosh. Alright, let's get the healing mist back just in case. Even though I missed on one of them, they do come in handy. <sighs> what a world. And Axiom, you're gonna have to comfort me tonight because I am in full cry mode from this. I finally had the dragon battle go what I thought was smoothly, you know. It is on hard setting. I'm glad it didn't go nightmare setting because that would have been a real mess. But I thought that we were doing fine. My spells were hitting. And still, it bugs out. So, try number two. At least that chamber is open too. So we'll get to explore that before Today I end. Is a good day. Today is a very good day. <laughs> I, Bull really likes killing dragon jaw. But he also dies to them. And I, I tried. I gave him some custom armor and a custom weapon for this. And he still has issues. <sighs> well, take two. We gotta wait for this dragon to decide it wants to land. All 
Alright, let's go into tactics mode again. I am going to cast a barrier. Cassandra, you are going to run up and... I don't think I'm going to have you rally. I don't want to believe that was what did it, but you never know with this stupid dragon. Circle of pain. So let's take this monster down, y'all. Solus does not need help. This game is bugged. Well, now he needs help. Crap. That was quick. And he's got his stone skin up. We want to get that down because none of the damage we do will matter. Uh, you know what? Just let myself get sucked in easier than doing the jump method because it's not on normal. All I'm doing is helping it damage me. Alright, we're gonna put up another barrier on the crew. At this point, I'm just gonna do my frost spells. From a distance. Even though I could do my spirit blade, it doesn't do as much damage as the ice spells. So I purposely made staffs just for the battle. Alright. Somebody's hitting him with something that he's immune to. Or she. They often refer to these dragons as she. get another barrier up you know I know I'm playing with basic computer NPCs but it kind of reminds me of raiding in like DDO and other games where you want to do damage but you also want to keep track of what your party members are at because it would suck if they die and throw everything off Dragon sure does cast a lot of stone skin. Oh, it's about to do that attack, so it's going close. Yep, it's about to do the wing slap, I think. <laughs> this track is all over the epic place. barrier. I wish I could spam stone skin like this. Good lord. It's insane. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna tuck in. Just trying to out jump it. It's, it just does more damage to you, especially on the harder difficulty. It seems like Solus and Iron Bolt, now I'm taking damage. Every time I open my mouth, stuff happens. But thank goodness for the kitty collar. Throw in a healing mist, and I'm gonna drink a potion. Finally, yes, victory! And I got a bit of Iron Bowl approval. So, hopefully, some good stuff. Nameless Blade, don't need that. Ooh, Armor Penetration Ring, I like that. Yes, Dragon Blood, I can craft runes. I wish I got more scales, but not bad. This was good. I will report to Frederick in a minute. I want to explore this chamber that the dragon fight opens because there's more stuff in here. 
And I'm not going to lie, back in the day when I first played this game, I took advantage of this chamber. It bugs the dragon out though, so it's a really cheese method. But back in the day when I didn't have the armor or the wherewithal to play it properly, I used the heck out of this chamber to fight the dragon. I would just have somebody on it, and then we would move everybody else back here, and it would bug the dragon out. So there is cheesy ways to beat the dragon. I just didn't want to do that. I knew I crafted enough decent armor. I'll have to come back for that. My inventory's full. <laughs> Ah, uh, I think I should have had a uh, scruffy in the party for that. All right. Anyhow, I did use this chamber to bug out the dragon back in the day when I first played this game because that dragon fight was very hard. But I learned that you don't have to do such tactics to beat the dragon. And like I said, I don't fault people who will cheese out hard battles. If that's how you want to play the game, play it that way. It's all about all of us having fun. I just realized that for me, it's more fun to take on the dragon head on. And it's less chance of having to do it over, even though the dragon glitched out anyway. So it is Bioware though. Expect glitches. And we're going to report to creepy old Frederick, who's probably talking to himself still. Hmm. Never noticed that before. Okay. After the researcher. Days, I have yet to observe the abyssal high dragon in... And he says the same thing over and over. It's crazy. Can I assist you? The dragon's the dead. The dragon me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. What the? <laughs> Holy crap! Where the heck did this come from? <laughs> that nearly gave me a heart attack. What the heck? Bioware. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I almost let out a stream of freaking cusses. It seems very unlikely that she could be nesting. Ah, fellow researcher, how can I help you? The dragon the is dragon dead. Attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's Good dead. Lord. She attacked. Oh, you had a first hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive? I, I was busy fighting, dum dum. What do you mean did I take notes? <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other. <laughs> I think my rogue is going to play a bitch in this and and, and say no to I'm some sure of these people. Use a Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. Yeah, whatever. I just want you as an agent, weirdo. So that was exhilarating and funny. I literally, my chest is still beating fast from that crazy phoenix attack. Now those things left us alone during the dragon battle, but I guess they got pissed off that they couldn't join in the fight. So that one completely surprised, ambushed us. The heck? What? Nothing to report, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I know it and part of me does feel bad for going after them but the crafter in me really wants their scales and stuff because you can make some really good runes and armor and I, I don't like the thought of them going extinct either but in Dragon's Age they can become um, arch demons as well so there's that too there's always that complete direct reason why I justify slaying the heck out of these dragons and you get the achievement when you kill all the high dragons in there. But I do understand those who don't want to um, kill them or make them go extinct. It's kind of like the griffins. I hate the fact that griffins are extinct in this game. Even though there's a, supposedly a way in this game to maybe reverse that. 
You know, there's a lot of stuff I missed during the first two playthroughs of this that I'm going to hopefully unlock this playthrough. But yeah, I enjoy the dragon fights because they're a challenge, but also because the crafter in me really likes their stuff. And my end game plan is to have crafted dragon scale armor on my skin that mocks, I think it is, or skin that walks. I'm paying these phoenixes back. That surprise attack still has my heart going in palpitation. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> you just missed the dragon fight, dear. My son came into the room. First dragon fight, it bugged out. Then a phoenix tried to surprise kamikaze us. It's... It just jumped on us while we were, um... While I was talking to an NPC. It was like I got jump scared. Like one of your games. Uh, these Phoenix aren't playing. They're just attacking everyone and everything. And they jump at you. The heck? Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing now. Stop laughing at me. My kid's been doing this since he was a, uh, uh, he was a baby. He'll watch me play. How did a piece of crap do that much damage to me? Oh, I keep forgetting that my inventory is full. Um, oh, I did it tactics-wise. Way to go, Tin. No, oh, I just want to drink a potion. There we go. And I keep doing the same thing. Did you just grab a snack? I mean, you can, but... Not even a hello, Mom. You grabbed your snack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a fade riff. Well, let's take care of this. We should search the area. No, Cassandra, really? That's the only thing that irks me about this game. Besides the fact that I keep taking damage when I shouldn't be, is uh the captain obviouses in my crew. We should check this out. Your help. All right, second wave coming in. Now I think this is the area where I should have black wall, so I'm not gonna do a search for that item just yet. Oh, it's one of those frost thingies. Let me stun it. Alright. Why am I doing frost damage? Frost damage doesn't work on it. Because you're holding a frost wand, too. Can't be prepared for everything. I'm not a Girl Scout. And this wasn't that bad. I am Bull takes a lot of damage, so I'm really gonna have to craft him some decent defensive armor. And if I remember this area well, this area is where that thing for Blackthorn or Scruffy, as I call him, is. So, I'm probably not going to try to find the secret thing just yet. Oof, look at this place. Dead bodies everywhere like the corn song. I just really wanted to do that dragon fight and I got my keep. I am really happy. But it is 8 o'clock, 
Axiom has not texted me yet, but I know he's probably looking at the clock like, it's our time. What are you doing, woman? So I'm about to wrap this up. Thank you to those tuning in. I had a bunch of fun with this. Even though I nearly gave myself a heart attack with that crazy freaking phoenix attack. They are super aggressive. You see two fighting these White Claw people right now. Or three White Claw people. I'll help out with this before I wrap it up. Why not? I can't stand either side. <laughs> wow. This crap is getting hard. Spirit Blade, go! Once again, another note. That's another thing that cracks me up about this game. Everybody has time to write notes and tell their business. Must be nice. But once again, thank you all for tuning in. I'm gonna wrap this up. I think this was a really fun run. I got to keep. I got to kill a dragon. And I got to give myself a daggone near heart attack by being jumped at by a crazy phoenix. I really hope you enjoyed this. I will be back tomorrow. Whether I stream Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds or um, Jaws of Hakon really depends on what I get done tomorrow and how tired I am after we get the work done. But I'm really deciding between Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds or... Um, Jaws of Hackham. Both are very involved areas, so I want to be able to enjoy them and be entertaining while I'm playing them. So, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys sometime tomorrow.